Hello everyone. How about painting this beautiful hibiscus painting today with me? At first it may seem a little overwhelming, but if you follow me till the end on all the instructions that I tell you, I am sure you will be able to do it too. So come on, let's get going then. As always, this is the watercolor paper pad that I am using. It has several watercolor sheets pasted together at the edges, leaving just one corner free from where we can take out the pages later on. And all the other sides are glued together so that they remain firm and don't come off. These are very useful to use as we don't have to tape down the paper onto any surface and it doesn't warp too as we go along doing the watercolor. Now I have marked out with pencil the basic composition of the flowers that I want to paint and I am now wetting the surface area of the flowers where I need to paint because I am going to be mostly painting in the wet in wet technique. These are several techniques used in watercolors and if you are a beginner you would want to know those techniques of watercolors first and for that you may want to refer to the two videos on my channel referring to the watercolor techniques. I have given the link to those videos in the description below. Please go and have a look at them. You may find me spraying some water from a spray bottle now and then so as to keep the surface wet because I don't want to let it dry since I'm painting in the wet and wet technique. So let's proceed in this manner for the first layer for all the flowers and we'll be adding in more layers and subsequently adding more and more details. Since this is a fairly large size paper and I am now going to paint the background, I am using a wide brush to wet the surface of the background here. I am now working on the 
the second layer and putting in more and more details along the way for all of the elements here. I am putting in the dark shadows for the flowers now which will be against the light and these dark shadows will make the flowers pop out and make them look more bold. As you can see, I am working on multiple layers either by wetting the surface once again if it has become dry or at times even in dry brush and I shall continue to do so until I get the desired results. Another thing to pay attention to is the hard and soft edges particularly at the shadows here as you can see 
the outer edges of the shadows we would want them to be more soft and so i'm just applying a water brush against the edges which are hard to make them look more soft After working on some details here and there, we are slowly approaching towards the end of our painting. Since the background was looking too plain, I am adding a sort of a yellowish hue to it. While doing this, you could maintain the softness of the edges either by running a simple plain water brush along those edges or even with the help of a tissue. One other thing to remember is that as the paint dries, the paints always turn lighter than what we apply. And so that's it. Our painting is done. Now the background paints have turned lighter than what we applied like I said before. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for future videos. You may also leave your comments below. Also click on the end screens here to watch other videos. See you next time.